doing guys Brian here and today we are back for another video and right now we are going to play The Walking Dead Season 3 The A New Frontier so we're gonna launch the game right now I just got this game like yesterday and actually it released like a few days ago so it was episode 2 just released like like released like yesterday I think episode 2 so we're gonna play episode 1 today and yeah let's go Alright guys, we're back in here, um, actually, we can choose how we begin our story, um, sorry about that, um, we can choose how we begin our story, so, actually, I have played season 1 and season 2 together, so, but I have, but I have not recorded in, in the PC, so, we're gonna continue our story, so, we have to recreate uh, the story I have played, so, Walking Dead Season 1, Clementine met the after she lost her family and he protected Clem and taught her the importance of the importance of well. So, this is why I get to choose right here. Um, season 1, uh, we, we, we taught her the importance of survival. So, of course, survival. Clem and Lee traveled to Savannah, where Lee sacrificed himself to save her. As he lay dying, Lee begged Clem to leave him in turn or shoot him. As I remember in season 1, I chose to shoot him because he even preferred Jesus Christ. That's, that's even worse. I'm gonna shoot him. After Lee's death, Clem found more survivors, people who helped her, such as Penny. For those of you guys who don't know Luke or Jane, actually, uh, they were from season two. Luke, we, we found him in uh, episode one, and Jane, I think, in episode three or four. Kenny, in episode two. Yeah, episode two. Yeah. I'm thinking of episode one. Yeah, we always look carefully. Um, in Luke, we she found a new friend who taught her the value. Compassion. Trust, yeah, all the good trust. Thanks to her compassion, that journey ultimately led her to house hardware. that final episode because uh, you know they were these two these two like Jane and Kenny were like fighting together uh, like because of the car thing so they both had made a, a, a very bad mistake oh yeah it's about the baby yeah it's about the baby um I think so I, I think I chose to travel alone I, I killed Kenny and Jay, so I travel alone. Clem learned the hard way to survive, that survival dependent on resources. Obviously, I chose people. I mean, we want our great characters back, right? Like, Jesus. Never got any easier. Clem remembers how, how she stopped AJ's dead mother from visiting her during an ambush, but drawing her gun, risking anger in the end. Clem chose to shoot or call for help. Um, I chose to shoot, yeah, but then we got attacked. Clem tried her best to manage conflicts with other armed survivors whenever possible. She would let or restrain or appeal for humanity. I chose let uh, uh, appeal for humanity. I just chose maybe to calm everyone down. And, yeah. One of ones, Clem was faced with the choice to take supplies from others to help a friend. She decided to take from others or refuse to kill. I, I actually take from others. That's the, that's the point of survival. We, we take stuff. True give. In season 2, a uh, determined Clementine was dead, but she felt necessary regardless. Clem 
had to make some brutal choice about Kenny and Jane. Pam finally realized she could only rely on herself to keep the safe. So yeah, let's go. Let's go. Episode one. Episode one. Ties that blind. Part one. There's episode two, as you can see. Ties that blind. Oh. There are actually five episodes. Five episodes. So yeah, let's go. When Javier and his family accidentally cross paths with a rival group, a um, simple misunderstanding quickly quickly spirals out of control. So I can't wait I cannot wait to play this guys. So yeah, um It's just the brightness. Oh god, here we go guys, here we go. I can't wait to play this guys, oh my god. Leave my car, it's traffic's just it's backed up for miles. He's dead. No, no, I, I, I tried. You're a piece of shit, you know that? One time, just the one goddamn time that you needed to be here. Look, look, I understand you're angry, but please. Angry? Oh, I'm more than angry, Javi. Going on. Everyone's here. <clears throat> They've been here for days. And where the fuck were you? <clears throat> we're there, all around him. People who love him, all around him. And he's scared. I'm seeing the panic in his eyes, and he's searching the room. Donde está Javier? Donde está mi hijo? I'm there, right beside him, holding his hand, like a good son. And he doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me because he's looking for you. You don't think there's a million places we'd rather be? You don't think we all had to make sacrifices? I'm sorry, okay? David, Jesus, I... Sorry isn't bringing him back, you selfish fuck. Uncle Javi? Why, why are you fighting? I could hear you from inside. What's going on? We were just, uh, talking, Gabriel. Right. Your uncle and I are just having a little chat. Go inside, mijo. We'll be in in a minute. Go on. It's okay. Inside. I should call someone, pick up the body. Yeah. I, I know this part of the app. I, I, know, I, know I love you, already. little brother. You know that, right? With everything going on. I know. I, I know this part of the episode based on the trailer. You think I was jealous of you? No, I, I don't think anything. Well, I was. For a long time. 
You've lost more than I'll ever have. But maybe something good can come out of all this. Because we need you here. It's time to grow up. You can't run from this. Not anymore. I know. You're right. I won't even argue. I'll be around more, honestly. You can count, count on, on it. it, huh? I want to believe that. I do. Javi. Kate. I'm so sorry, Javi. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Let's go inside. Your mom needs you. What happened? Come on. Mama. Where were you? I tried. I tried. I'm so sorry. He's gone, mijo. He's gone. <laughs> He's in a better place, Mama. No puedo conectarme. Dicen que no hay servicio. Oh, this part was like before the before. This was before season one. You thirsty, baby? You want some juice? Grandpa's cup was empty. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. People's awake. There. He, he turned. He turned. We need to get her to the hospital. Well, let me look at it. Let me look at it. Gabriel, where's your sister? <laughs> keys! Where the fuck are the keys? Take Dad's car. <laughs> keys are on the dash. <laughs> Mama, get the kids. Meet at the hospital. Don't take the highway. It's blocked. <gasps> Oh, 
Bring the van around. Where's Mari? I, I don't know. Miha. Mariana! From the stars! Mariana, we have to go. Yaya's hurt. Come on, honey, we have to go. No, no, no! 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 It's okay, baby. It's okay. County General Hospital. I know the way. infection but then I don't know like that was from uh, I can't tell I, I, I really don't know when it reaches the campfire. I think we should probably get going. We will. I just need to know how fast they're moving. Damn it. I left my water bottle. Her just got there. Just under four hours. Come on. We should keep moving while the kids are asleep. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like the herd is speeding up a little. I thought it was drifting southwest, but I'm not sure anymore. Every time I think we should just bed down somewhere and wait for it to pass, I can't shake the thought of us getting caught in the middle of it. It just keeps coming. It's slow, but that almost makes it worse. It makes it feel like we're in control. We should keep moving. It worked for us so far. As long as we stay supplied, we're fine. Yeah, maybe you're right. The van isn't so bad. We'll figure it out. We always do. Hey, I'm gonna sneak a smoke. I can't believe you found weed. Are you kidding? People were probably growing this before they realized they needed food. Alright, just, you know, make it quick. I don't want you waking the kids. Relax. Mariana's got headphones on and Gabe is drooling. I think we're in the clear. You want some? Nah. No thanks. One of us should be... sober. <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> When I found out David had kids, I told him, I am not changing who I am around them. <laughs> and when he proposed, I reminded him that I'm not exactly stepmother material. <laughs> Case in point. He was reassuring, but you know, I could tell he was worried about it. I knew he'd try to get me to change. <laughs> or at least he'd hope that being around the kids more would change me, you know? I suppose it did. If it helps, I think you're doing a fine job. <laughs> Don't be cheesy, all right? I'm not fishing for compliments. Well, you caught one, all right? So, now what? I used to talk shit about all those mothers who'd go on about raising their kids being the hardest thing in the world. Gabe's making me start to think they had a point. 
His mood switch. Hold on, guys. I'm getting it's lagged good. again. I have no idea what's what's going on with the lag. Um. So if I have, so if I'm going to have lags, sorry guys. So yeah, let's, let's, let's get back in the game. Um. Shit. Uh, I don't know. Some days I just want to leave him by the side of the road. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Jesus. Obviously. You really shouldn't say things like that. I said it was a joke. It's half a joke. It's all joke. Look, I love these kids. But I could do without Gabe reminding me I'm not his mother whenever he's pissed. Man, he's a teenager. Puberty. Hormones. The second you start getting boners, the whole world starts to get dark. What are you talking about? It sounds delightful compared to dealing with bloody underwear. <laughs> Christ. I need to get laid. Jesus. Uh, I mean, I don't need to know that. <laughs> That was an awkward transition. Sorry about that. No, oh, I can pull over. <laughs> it wouldn't take a minute. <sighs> wouldn't be worth it for just a minute. Huh. <sighs> What's that smell? Oh, nah. Uh, no. Nah. That's gross. Hey, Mariana, I. I think we. We uh, must have hit a skunk or something back there. I already know you guys do drugs. <laughs> That's a pretty severe way of phrasing it, Mariana. Don't tell Gabe. He's the one who told me. Oh, oh my god. You're even smoking in the car now? Uh, Alright. Everyone roll the windows down before you all get contact high. <laughs> We're about to make a supply stop. You want a moment alone, Mari? I'm praying I find a candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do we actually need? Uh, a candy bar? <laughs> need, Mariana. Not want. Pretty much everything. If it looks useful, let's use it. All right. Well, let's start with some gas and move up from there. <laughs> Oh, hello. Hello. We got the first walker here. E. E. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. God damn, you look beautiful. <laughs> Much more beautiful. <laughs> man. Hey, where are you going? Okay, that's cool. Have fun. Jesus. It never ends with him. I hate when they fight like that. I really hate it. It's like all Gabe wants to do is argue. It doesn't matter what it's about. Hey, I know that's what families do. They fight, they make up, and they fight all over again. 
At least you have your headphones. Yeah, but the batteries have been dead for a couple of weeks. Oh, okay. No. I mostly wear them to fool you guys. Sure. <laughs> It's easier to stay out of it that way. Well, when you put it that way, I wish I had a pair too. You can borrow mine if you want. I might just have to do that. Be nice to find some dinner. In a junkyard. You, you never know. These past four years, people have been hoarding all kinds of shit in all kinds of places. Oh, and Mari, if there's any trouble, you can find one of these cars. Yeah? Lock yourself in and don't come out. Not even once it's quiet. And wait as long as you can. Okay. Good girl. Alright, so it's time to move, right? There we go. Alright. It's time to look some. It's time to get real, bro. Um, get the barrels. Oh, Waste oil. No use to us. Most of the dashboard is torn out, seats are gone. Nah, this thing's dead. And a flat tire, yeah. Mattress. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, we can't we can't take the fucking mattress. I mean it's gross as shit. But you know what? YOLO, I don't I don't even care. For survival. Okay. Oh poke. Now I'm sorry I did that. Oh it's poke, not take. <laughs> hey, it's Kate. It's not there. You find anything? <clears throat> I can't stop thinking about that herd. We get caught in it and, and that's it. Peace, asshole. Can't charm your way out of that one. Be gone in seconds. Hey, don't think about that. We're careful. We're smart. We'll stay ahead of them. <sighs> Luck runs out just as easily as gas. There's gonna be a last one, you know? A last tank of gas. Last piece of food. What if this place is empty? And and the next? And the next? We're not gonna let that happen. Okay? <sighs> okay. I let it have its five minutes. I'm good. All right, so let's go. Kate, we thought like Kate's been thinking about the herd. This car. <clears throat> Once this car made someone very happy. Now it sits here, rotting away. Yeah, makes sense. I know how fun. I see. It's la vida. That's life. <laughs> That's so true. All right. Get the gas. Oh shit! Jesus, man. I'm not even done. To Papa. How much? Barely anything. Oh. I'll need to find more. Okay, let's talk about. Let's talk to Gabe or Gabriel, whatever your name is. What's going on in there, buddy? I'm in a bad mood, okay? I want it to go away, but he won't. I just wish we weren't always on the road. I like being with other people. It's just, we're in that car for so damn long. The AC hasn't worked in ages. And that, 
It ain't my last damn tape. Well, that's a sweet idea. But it's safer to keep moving. I don't know. Maybe just leave me alone. Okay. But if you want to talk later, I'm... around. The truck. Let's get some gas. Bingo. What? We got all. The, we got. We got all the gas. All right. Let's go. Well, we gotta get some supplies. I mean, look for more supplies. We got a. We got a ladder. Time. Looks like there's more to see up here. I mean, no shit. Maybe get oh, on. No. Wait, let's stay for a while. I think I think I'm I'm missing something here. If I have an option to stay, I guess. Wait, let's. Where is uh, Mari? Oh, there's Mari. I've been looking for. Hey, any luck, kiddo? I need a pen. Uh, why? Or a pencil. What? Just something to write with. Oh. A pen? Why are you looking for that? There's just something I really want, I really need to do. And I need a pen for it. Last night I was thinking about this stupid story my mom used to tell me all the time before bed. I used to hate it. But... <laughs> but then I realized I don't remember the ending. It was this goofy ending she thought was so funny and I thought was so dumb. I want to write down everything I can remember about everything. Because if I forget and they're all gone, I'm kind of gone too, at least a little bit. I just think that might be kind of important, maybe. You're better off leaving the past where it is. Otherwise, you never stop looking backwards. Looks a whole lot better than what's in front of us. I'll help, in a minute. All right, so let's go climb. I guess, I mean, Mariana's looking for a pen, and we're here looking for supplies. Makes sense. Hey! Okay, let's go. So glad. Any luck? Some. But not enough. Gabe? Hey, Gabe. Let's go take a look over there. Gabe, stay close to Javi. Got it? Oh, all right. God damn. He better not be stubborn. I mean, seriously. If he's stubborn, I'm gonna be dead, I guess. Or I have to stay with that all day. Ah. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, we're here. Hey, look. There's one they never took to pieces. Ambulance. Good catch. Nothing. Fuck yeah. Look at all that fuel. Oh, then there's a lot of fuel. <laughs> all right. This is going to take a while.
locked. Oh well. At least it had some gas. Looks like it came from in there. Gabe, stay close. Here. Might be able to get in through the hatch. Oh, hatch. But wait, let's try to open the door. Lock. Locked. Continue it. So we have to get uh, Gabe into the hatch. Um, here, blind. Check this out. Ooh, baby. That's a lot of Not the cleanest place. Oh, no more those at least. Let's just be careful. Pretty gross. Are you kidding me? Lucky for you, they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. Well, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time. Oh, check it out. This is actual, honest to God, pudding. Seriously? And it's not just food. There's a mattress. There's blankets. Someone else's mattress. Someone else's blankets. We need to just take our gas and get on the road. This place does have a funny feeling about it. And if Muertos were to somehow surround us. Great. Now I'm officially creeped out. Come on, one night. We bunk down, eat a real meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change. Please. The herd is coming if it's not here already. We should go and get ahead of it before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Why can't we just enjoy it? Javi, can we? We could stretch out, sleep well for once. Come on, you know it's not a big deal. Fine. The kids are right. We deserve a little break from the van. Yes! Kids, go wild. Just stay indoors and keep your ears open. <laughs> Just in case. Cool. You can have your own. Uh... I mean, I don't want to let the kids feel mad. I don't know how I always end up being the mean stepmom, and you get to be the cool uncle. We should be able to switch roles now and then. Keep the kids off balance. Oh, come on. That's not fair. You're cool to me. Wow. That means so much. Really. Grab some gas. We're out of here in a few hours. Hey, uh, wait. But you... You're the cool one, remember? 
Should expect it from you. Come on. It shouldn't be like that, bro. It shouldn't be like that. Whoa. What the fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Oh, shit. Go on. Speak up. I should have known. I should have known. I'm sorry, man. Look, it's just a can. We needed it really we? bad. I fucking knew it. There's more than just you out here. You ain't the loner type. I can tell. I know you got people. Look, don't worry about them. They took off and then they're not coming back. Just up and left you, huh? <laughs> Fan out, look for the others. Oh, no. Lonnie, you're with me. You assholes in there! I got your boy! You don't want him getting shot, you best come out there careful with your hands up! Go on, you first. You get ambushed by your own people, that shit's gonna make my day. Open it real slowly. They're hiding, right? Yeah, they are hiding. had a real feast, huh? You can't just take what you like. Look, we hardly took any. Uh, really, someone must have been here before us. Look, I, I, I get it, all right? You're starving. Who the fuck is it? At the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake. But I got this sneaky fucking feeling <clears throat> that you're full of shit. I ain't gonna let it be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. Keep an eye on this dickhead. I wanna grab some cuffs. You got it. Oh, you're, you're mine, boy. Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. Look, just, just let me go, okay? Please. Look, man. This doesn't have to go. What the fuck was that noise? What you got hiding under there, boy? If you know something, you better spill it. You don't want me finding out for myself. Come on, man, what else? There are muertos down there. There were a bunch of them outside, too. The dead, huh? Well, then, we better take care of that, shouldn't we? No! Come on. Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Please, man! Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back there. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. 
There's gotta be a way we can work all this out. You know, make a deal or something. It ain't my call, all right? You best be glad it ain't. Please, just s stop, all right? You don't want me riled up, kid. Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! Oh, my God. Get the gun, get the gun! Get the gun! Just keep looking forward. Look, I'm no threat to you, okay? I surrender. This is Clem. Well, that's obvious. Seeing how you didn't shoot that guy. It's Clem, yo! It's freaking Clem! Okay, now don't do anything stupid. Yo, it's Clem, what the- Because I'm not as nice as you. I won't hesitate. Oh, shit, yo. You're it's a Clem kid. It's Clementine. Yo. Whoa, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. What do you need the truck for? To drive. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Oh my god, yo! Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? Oh. This is payment for saving you. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, hey, just... <laughs> oh, no! My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked, and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522, and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. Oh, no! <laughs> I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. Yeah, absolutely. You got a deal. Good. Let's go. Clem! <laughs> Oh, he's so this bad. really necessary? I don't know you. I don't trust you. And I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Come on. You must trust me at least a little. We're here, aren't we? I trust that if I don't get a van at the end of this, you'll regret it. Oh, man. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. No! Oh my god, no! Now it's nice to meet you, Clementine. Yo, if you say so. Man. Oh shit. I think I made the I think I did the wrong choice or of this or maybe um because because I put survival and sur and she, all she thinks is survival. She don't she don't trust anyone. 
she don't trust anyone. So yeah. You don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I know, you'd turn around and use it on me. Oh, come on. Now, come on. This whole silent loner thing you got going on? Just be real with me. I don't know what you're talking about. Words. The herd caught up with us. Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. Walkers. Yeah. What do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? <laughs> Look, I'm just not used to being around other people. <coughs> uh. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Apology accepted. I wasn't apologizing. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Roasted. So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. Well, I didn't do it alone. My, uh, well, uh, Kate helped. She did most of the work, actually. Sounds nice, having a partner. It is. Well, how about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Oh, shit, man. Oh, no. <coughs> shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Can you do that, please? Fine. Whatever you say. Thank you. <coughs> Don't make me regret this. Come on! Why is there a horse? Damn it, Francine. One of these days, those doors are going to close and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah. And when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. 
Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I am truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. And I wouldn't recommend changing your mind. If you want to hang on to all your teeth, that is. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. <clears throat> yeah, man, like, holy shit. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Uh, what, why? Oh, that makes sense. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. It's just a pit stop, okay? We're gone as soon as there's a window. I hope that window comes soon. In the meantime... <clears throat> hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family, they're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know, they'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go, this way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. place like this since well you know it's just like the old days listen I gotta take care of something hang tight well, wait wait what should I do I don't know why don't you make some friends <laughs> well not to make some friends I guess Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. Oh, what the what hell is he knows? I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20 year career. You know Javier? The way I see it. Nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? You want an autograph or something? <laughs> if I had a baseball, I'd take you up on it. But I'm fresh out. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over. <laughs> Is that a fact? All right. I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight? Oh, hell yeah! Nice. Well, oh, calm down, both of you. Thanks for the advice, hon. How's about a drink? On my tab. Oh, Wonder. my God. I didn't know I win. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal and it's done? What's going on? This guy ripped me off. What? I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? 
Because I don't scare easy, all right? Just make it right. We can all walk away from this nice and easy. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, I'm fucking believable. Look out! <laughs> Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy. I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. Boy, you have it wrong, buddy. I don't control her, which looks like bad news for you. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun! Right now! See, he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you! Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it! You done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? What the fuck happened? Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do Whoa. with you. Oh, hey, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in and fucking up my bar. I thought the bullets don't work. I'd have punched your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey. Thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um, that was cool of you. I wasn't sure there for a minute. Of course. Anytime. Well, I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Just don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? Ooh la la, Oba! Oba, mama, mama, yeah, me, mommy. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. Trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Javier, pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Now, let's see about that wound. Wait, what wound? Oh. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. <sighs> I've never understood it. Are you calling me pretty? <laughs> I was talking about Eli, the dead guy. Oh, yeah, good. Because I prefer dashing. Or debonair, maybe. Yeah, I'll try to keep that in mind. <coughs> People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? Look, things got out of hand. Clementine was only trying to make a point, but then... You make it sound so casual. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help, well, not that I have much to offer you, but 
I know a thing or two about losing family. I wouldn't want to make any trouble for you. This whole thing's been pretty messy. I hear you, but... Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms and on my timeline. You got me? Nah, no way. I need to get back on the road ASAP. Javier, I am not negotiating here. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they can need a medic. Nah, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Hang on. <clears throat> Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. If your family does need help, I'll be right there to give it. What? Seriously? When you do that for me? It's just... It's the right thing to do. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. You know, I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is, is and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. We're leaving tonight, with Eleanor. If it gets us there even a minute sooner, it's worth it. All right, I'm in. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. It sounds like Eleanor will be a little while. Maybe we should get a few winks. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. Dinner. Aren't you hungry? <sighs> We're out of food, AJ. We're gonna starve. I'm starving. We gotta... AJ, stay here while I find us dinner, okay? Uh, Tell me you understand. No. <sighs> Come on, don't you want dinner? Mmm, dinner.
Yo! Yo! Oh shit! What? What the fuck? Seriously, man? Sun's up. <sighs> Chip's probably mad as hell by now. Oh! What do you think he'll do to you? Oh, nothing. He'll yell at me a little. Trip and I, we sort of used to be a thing. It was for like five minutes, and it fizzled out fast. But he never really got over it. Not that he's weird about it or anything. Relationships can change pretty fast, and they're never not complicated. Sounds so like you've got something on your mind. Character, or someone. And Guys, that's the place. Yeah, this is it. Oh, shit. Oh, no. What's going on? I swear they're dead, man. Guns out, yeah. If you insist. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? That's... Wait, what? You said lock yourself in and don't come out not even once it's quiet it kept running through my head like on a loop i don't even know how long i was in there then i heard your voice did they hurt you are you okay i hid before they could get to me i'm fine really kate and your brother where are they we got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up kate yelled that they were going to try to make it back to the van and that's where we're headed let's go get your brother back sweetie Oh no. That's the van. No. No sign of him. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Whoa. Kate. Oh! They're trapped in there. Mariana, stay back. Wait! Nobody shoots. He's right. We fire at the truck, we might hit them. <laughs> oh my god, let's go. Where I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. I thought we were done for. You're still alive, aren't you? So is Kate. So is Mari. That's all that matters. I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. 
Must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Eleanor, think you can take a look? It's okay. I'm a doctor. I'll clean it here, then patch you up back home. See? Better already. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with the gun? Does she have a name you want to share with us? Or are you going to make me do my own introductions? She saved my life. Pulled this crazy stunt. Let me get the upper hand on the asshole who took me away from you guys. Her name's Clementine. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? Even, like, lukewarm water would be okay. Ugh, oh, and bubble bath. Wouldn't bubble bath be amazing? Eh, don't get your hopes up too high. It's a nice place, but it's not the Ritz. Well, whatever they've got, I'm sure it's gonna be great. You look happy. I am. Search and rescue missions don't usually end so well. Alive and healthy. Sort of incredible. Now let's wait to celebrate until we're back behind the walls, okay? I don't want to jinx us. I'm just happy for you is all. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. <laughs> I haven't forgotten about our deal. Oh, I no. have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. I was hoping you might stay. You know, considering... Considering what? You came all the way out here with me. Yeah, for the van, not for... Cool.
Oh shit. Flash. Hobby, don't. Yo, what? What the fuck? We stay in the night. Yeah, we okay. We let the driver go. Yes. Alright. We got locked up. Yeah. Obviously. We have to we have to help Clementine. I mean seriously. I mean that'll be they'll be fucked up. I mean seriously though. We went with Eleanor. 45 for 8? Oh, you kidding me, guys? You serious, bro? Of course, I have to stay with Clementine. I mean, Jesus. Mm. I mean, that ending was fucked up, bro. Why? It's just the first episode, and that ending is so is so messed up. Yo, what the hell, bro? It's so messed up. Like, what the fuck? Seriously, tell tell him. Are you kidding me, bro? The the fucking first episode. It's fucked up. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, man. Oh. Oh my god. Hey, you guys. That is it for that is it for today. Uh, it was so messed up, but yes, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. And peace.